Uh, okay, so we looked at the role-based security, we looked at the uh, content groups and the roles that are giving people access to those uh, content groups. Now let's look at the second log. And remember the second log was content accounts. Uh, please keep them separate, do not mix them. Uh, content accounts are actually, uh, they are simpler concepts than, than uh, groups and roles because uh, users have access to content accounts directly and again if you look at uh, let's look at uh, let's look at uh, metadata fields uh, we'll look at uh, there's a field called account and uh, we can also set up we can uh, put values for uh, those fields and we can put uh, an account of uh, manufacturing uh, slash internal and if you notice I'm using the slash here So you have con content account of manufacturing a security group stays as public and that's our first log, let's ignore it and we'll look at the second log called account and uh, the value for account on this particular uh, content item is manufacturing slash internal now let's look at the user manager, user admin and uh, let's edit properties for Alex and there is a tab for accounts and let's just give them permissions for manufacturing slash internal and I'm giving them read write delete admin access so Alex will have full access to this document what if I want them to have access to internal and external documents what I'll do I'll do this I'll edit actually it doesn't allow me to edit but I'll edit again and I'll just give them access to manufacturing that's the only difference that's the biggest difference between uh, how the two logs are working but uh, as soon as you un understand how roles and groups uh, give access uh, to the specific content item if people have access to this item uh, the second log they need to open to actually access it is account log and that would be uh, presence of uh, the content items uh, the value that the content item has for the account field in the user's list of accounts right if you can access uh, uh, and it actually shows you what type of access you have read write delete admin or you can just have uh, read access right if you do have access to this particular value of account you will have access to uh, the actual item uh, so it, it's just a tag on the content item but it supports hierarchy and the user access to the actual content accounts are specified directly and uh, we've seen that by by just seeing uh, edit user Alex accounts manufacturing he has read, uh, read only access and it supports hierarchy as we've seen uh, in our case manufacturing give access to uh, manufacturing slash internal uh, if uh, you give access to CA slash ON that will give them access to CA ON Montreal Toronto Ottawa it's just another example and it doesn't have to be slashes it can be commas can be dots can be anything so that's that's how simple account and accounts are and uh, you can predefine the accounts so they appear on that drop down box on the check in form. Uh, if you keep them separate, uh, it's very, very simple. Uh, the first uh, roles and groups uh, getting it probably takes, uh, will take you uh, a few minutes to understand. I hope you, I hope you do understand now how uh, user roles give access. Uh, to the uh, values of security groups. 
accounts are very simple. Uh, a user have an uh, account specified directly on the user record, and the only diff the only thing that is uh, separate about it, and it's very powerful actually feature of accounts is that they support hierarchy. If I actually delete that and I give them access to M, and I give them access uh, read only access to M, uh, that will give them access to uh, to Mar uh, and manufacturing manufacturing slash and manufacturing slash internal. It will also give them access to manufacturing slash secret because they have access to uh, the first portion of it, which is M. Let's conclude our session on uh, content server security.